Welcome once again and got the latest update on the bandsaw and it's not quite finished there's a few detail bits and pieces that need sorting out but it is up and running so you can see the uh, temporary uh, switch gear or rather remotes control and it's slightly temporary wiring installation um, I need to make a, a new box and probably put a speed control on um, to be able to slow it down a little more uh, for certain jobs but the drive system is all installed I've got the VFD over in the back corner there and the motor and the belts all installed and uh, had a big struggle with this Eurotherm VFD. It has an utterly horrendous interface, um, a poor manual, and uh, if I zoom in there, the last number, it's version 1.3 of the firmware, and the oldest manual I could find was for version 5, so um, some of the uh, the menu layouts didn't match but that wasn't the major problem the major problem was just you know simple jobs like reconfiguring a digital input to be the stop input um, so that it was a um, momentary start momentary stop arrangement actually requires putting it into a special mode and then editing some of the internal logic links and it's just a hideous hideous system but it's all working I've done a little bit of cutting with it just for testing a couple of things but let's fire it up and there's a little bit of squeaking um, which you really only get in this very lowest speed where you've got a very small um, pulley on the bottom there. It's a brand new belt, but it's not particularly noisy at all. And if I shut the door, most of that belt noise goes away. The slightly periodic noise you're hearing um, is from the blade brush. So you can see it's got a little brass brush that a previous owner installed there to help clean um, clean the bottom wheel. It's going very nicely. The resultant blade speed is about a hundred uh, meters a minute uh, which is um, within the recommended speed for this uh, bimetallic blade when cutting carbon steel. So that's uh, just about ideal really. Um, I've obviously got the higher speeds on the pulley available when cutting aluminium um, or the occasional bit of wood but I just usually accept a, a slow cutting speed and this cover is not installed it's just sitting there this is the original cover that fitted in this direction um, trimmed down and it'll get a couple of mounting brackets this doesn't have to come off the speed changes, so it will only ever come off the belt um, replacement. So I'm not going to worry about having it um, hinging or being quick release or anything. But uh, overall, I'm exceptionally pleased with the way this has turned out. And uh, now I can get on and cut the... Uh, plates for the rear sets on uh, my friend Phil's race bike. 